Hi, my name is Stephen Fishwick. I am a San Diego-based traditional artist. And I'm B. Huff. I'm a graphic designer and street art inspired painter. And today we're here to show you some of the great examples of paint markers and markers in general that Aaron Brothers carries. Aaron Brothers is the headquarter for markers. If you like working in markers, and if you don't, you're gonna after this show. <laughs> Aaron Brothers is the place to get them. They have the, the widest variety of markers of any art store. We're gonna show you some demonstrations of what you can do with Prismacolor markers and pencils. We're gonna show you what you can do with the Sharpies, a whole line of colorful Sharpies. We've got the dual brush Tombow marker sets. We've got your no show through render paper. It's fantastic paper. It's great for drawing, but it's great for markers as well. And next up, we've got the Winsor Newton watercolor markers. Right beside that, it's the Liquitex paint markers. And we've also got a full line of the Montana acrylic paint markers. Uh, last, we pick up with the Copic markers. So we're going to show you a little bit of what each of these markers do and uh, do some art. Let's go draw. Let's do it. Okay guys, we're over here now and we're going to go through a couple of the marker options you have at Aaron Brothers. First off, I'm going to start with the Montana acrylic water-based paint markers. As you can see here, there's a lot of different sizes. Uh, we've got extra fine, fine, a 30 millimeter, a 50 millimeter, and we're going to go through all that. So let me show you what the extra fine line quality is, okay? Now first thing, you can see the tip there. It's a nice uh, chisel tip, or sorry, a bullet point tip. And so what I'm gonna do is, first off, you wanna shake them, and then you gotta juice them up. So put it down a couple times. You can see the paint starting to come off, okay? So let me show you a couple lines. So that's the kind of thickness you can get with the extra fine. Now let me go to the fine. You can see it's a little bit rounder tip. So you get a little bit thicker line. And now we get the big boy, the 15 millimeter. This thing is amazing, a lot of coverage, a lot of coverage. And you can see this is such an opaque marker. It does such a great job. Um, now we're gonna go to a little bit bigger marker and this thing has amazing coverage. So, as you can see, nice, thick, black, doesn't gray out at all. Just an amazing coverage, so that's that marker. And then, these guys are crazy at Montana. They went one better, and they've got this marker here. Now this one I have in silver, but you can see, I'm gonna juice this up. You can see the coverage it has is amazing. Such a solid line, opaque line. It's so good, and it works on so many different surfaces. Obviously I'm using the render paper, but it's great on wood, it's great on metal and plastics. Just such a great thing. So what I'm gonna do now is show you what Montana has done that I think is really great, is they sell these empty canisters here, okay? And you can buy different tips. But what you do is you take the color, and they sell these at Aaron Brothers as well. You can take these, turn it off, put it in there, totally juice it up, have any color that you like, and this is really great when you want to mix colors because because they're acrylic based, you can mix them. It just reverse screws off. So, reverse it off there. And then this tip can come out as well. So you can clean that or replace it with a different tip. So that's great. Nice, solid. You can see on the inside of the case, it's, like, it's a rubber insole. And that makes it great so it doesn't leak into any bags you've got, things like that. And that comes in several different sizes. You see the, the two big guys and then the regular one. Again, the tips can be removed and replaced. All right. Now let me show you some art that I've done. Uh, well, we'll do this first. We'll take this marker here. Again, this marker I just drew this, you saw me draw it. And that red really stands out. Got some other colors. That The great thing is, you can really get a solid line, especially on black, which a lot of times is hard to do. 
These paint markers are really opaque. Fantastic product from Montana. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over and do the Liquitex paint markers. And these are very similar. Um, you can see that it's got a similar thing, uh, a similar tip. Come out. So I'm gonna... When you first buy them, what you wanna do is you wanna shake them up, get that paint going, thin it out. And then you have to pump it a couple times. And you'll see the paint start to coming, down, coming through. As you can see there, it's kind of the pigments coming in there. Now once you do that and you get the, the tip filled with paint, it's pretty good. You just need one or two pumps once in a while. So even with yellow, you can see really opaque line. You get some great, great line variants, that thick and thin. That comes in <clears throat> this size here and also a fine tip. So we'll ink this one up as well. Really great quality line. You can turn that chisel tip to be a thin line as well. So these are from Liquitex. Also just a great product. And lastly for me, I'm gonna show you guys the Copics. And the Copic markers are markers that have been around for a while and they come with a dual edge, a chisel tip, and a brush tip. You can see here, chisel tip gives you a nice straight. You can do a thin line. You can also flip it around for the brush tip. And the brush tip is great because you can do those straight lines, but it really gives you that thick and thin ability. It gives that nice volume. And then also, if you keep them wet, you can really, you can almost start to fill in spaces with a little bit of variance there as well. So let me show you some artwork that I've done with these markers, and uh, we'll do that now. All right, guys, we're back here. And here's some of the work that I've done with the Montana Liquitex and Copic markers. You can see the opaqueness of this black with the colors just looks great. The red cover is great. We've got a silver, a silver pen. It looks fantastic on top of that. And then, so what I'm doing here is I'm working on this piece, okay? A uh, little kingfish. And so I'm gonna take this and show you a little bit of what these markers can do. Okay, so I'm gonna take this uh, white marker and I'm gonna add a couple lines here just to give it some depth. And you can see it is really opaque. It just looks beautiful. It allows me to really work on top of stuff. See, I haven't had to juice this marker up, and I've been drawing for a little bit of time. It just really stays inked up there. I'm gonna use a different color here. We'll use the red. And we're gonna go over black, because black, you know, a lot of times black doesn't isn't able to be seen as well. So Now, if you notice, I didn't even juice this marker. <laughs> that means it's still holding well from the last time I used it.
Really great for graphic images. All right. All right. Now I'm going to showcase you some of the Sharpie markers that they have. A big wide collection, lots of colors. Also the Tombow markers, really great for uh, skin tones and different effects. I'm much more of a renderer, a, 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 what I would call a traditional artist. And then I'm going to do a full demo for you with the Prismacolors, one of my absolute favorite marker and colored pencils. So let's start with the Sharpie. Uh, there's three different types of Sharpies, three different nibs. They have the ultra fine, very fine point nib. And it gives you, you know, you can really get those nice thin, you know, if you're a sketcher, you know, if you like to do sketching, cross hatching, this is going to be a fantastic marker to give you that type of line quality. Very thin, you can almost get it down to nothing. It does give you a solid if you go slower or leave a, a harsher mark to it. The next up would be their fine point. And this is what a normal Sharpie, you know, if you just got a black Sharpie, this is the one you would most likely get, this point, this fine nib. But again, the faster you move, you can get a lot of beautiful strokes to go on in that. And you can get some nice solid coverage. And then they've got their finest, or their, uh, their nice, what they call the chisel tip. The chisel tip can still give you a fine, fine point if you want, or a fine line, just by dragging it very thin-like. But you also can use it to do massive coverage. And you can also go from thick to thin. Lots of great quality in these markers. What I find with, with the uh, Sharpie specifically is they last long. You get a lot of life out of these, out of the Sharpies. Um, but you can do, you know, I do a lot of rendering, a lot of uh, cross hatching, what a lot of people would just call sketching. And you can do that. A lot of this was done with the fine tip. So you can get a lot of cross hatching going on to get your shading, build up your colors. You can go in with your chisel tips. And do some more of your massive block colors. There's just a lot of fun you can do. And since I'm more of a traditional painter, I do tend to like to use the brush stroke that the nib will leave me. You want to then add into some very, very fine line details. That's where you want to use your ultra fine point. Sharpies are not designed to give you a, a real wide blending range of colors, but you can certainly layer these colors in, in a multitude of different ways. Uh, I love them more for the cross hatching. So moving into the Tombows, the Tombows are almost a paintbrush. They're marker ink, they're markers, but they've got this beautiful nib that allows you to use them really as a paintbrush. They do blend much smoother than say a Sharpie, but it's a completely different type of marker. And it has two different ends on these. These are, are uh, dual brush, so you can get a very fine tip and immediately flip it over and use that brush, brush pen, brush stroke again. Great quality of markers, lots of variety of colors. 
the thing I really enjoy about markers as well is when they start drying out. There's something priceless about a semi-dry marker because then it gives you even a wider range of gradient as you're, as you're toning things. Uh, this is a rendering done with the Tombows. And as you can see, I mean, it, it, you have such a wide range of tones that these come in. Similar to the Sharpies, you can use them while rendering or cross-hatching, but then you can also blend with them. They're just a, a beautiful quality marker. Get into some of the color range. Same thing, brush tip on one end, fine point on the other. It's endless what you can do with markers. I, I love markers. When I was in art school, we did a lot of rendering and marker and used Prismacolors a lot, used Tombows. The thing I really like about it is you can use them as a painter. Even though it's a marker, you're doing a rendering, you can really get paint quality with these. So some bright colors, love the Tombow. The next marker I want to show you is the Windsor Newton watercolor marker. They're great for getting the gradation that you'd want out of a watercolor. Also comes with a, two different chisel tipped ends. One gives you the brush stroke that you'd want out of a watercolor. The other one gives you those nice ultra fine lines that you love out of a marker. Best part about these markers is that as you blend them, they're designed to blend in with each mark you make. So you can get some awesome gradation. Just by going over. Each previous stroke. So again, you can get nice thick and thin lines. Great for little illustrations. Uh, beautiful for full renderings, cross hatching, but with the watercolor marker, Prismacolor as well, you can really blend these guys and get, get some really beautiful effects with them. Moving into the Prismacolor, I must say I have a bias. I'm a big Prismacolor fan. I have a big bucket of Prismacolors that I use a lot. Just fun, fun to use in your sketchbook. Anytime you're doing any drawing, especially with the Prismacolored pencils, you can add the marker on top of it and you just get this great, whimsical, wild look. Great for carrying around, they're very lightweight, so you can almost carry an entire palette with you. I'm gonna do a full rendering now, more of a landscape piece. Why don't we bring the camera around to this side so you can see it. Using the Prismacolors, they also have a chisel tip on one end, nice wide tip. On the opposite end, they've got a nice fine tip and you can use that for any of your finer lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna use these quite a bit like a paintbrush. They're great for solid cover. But as a, as a painter, I'm not gonna worry a whole lot about having brush strokes. In a certain element, I really want them. Oh, they're, they're a lot like watercolor. You can use these for any number of renderings. So if I want to play with some colors and see what they're going to look like, this would be the way to do it. Now that I'm starting to layer these colors, the marker will start doing the blending for me. I don't have to do a whole lot. Just like I paint, I'm spreading some of these colors around. And I'm building from the light all the way down to the dark. So now I'm gonna start going in with a deeper red on my barn. And I'm gonna build that red up 
into a really nice dark deep red. Now that I've got my darker colors, I'm going to start drawing. And now I can go in with some of my darkest darks. And now I'm, I'm sketching a lot more. Now I'm going to render right on top of that with my fine point. Getting all the little details that I want. I'm just making it up. So the more you work with these Prismacolor markers, the more you'll be able to play with them. Uh, they just handle so beautifully. You can take these, they're very lightweight. You can take a pack full of colors, take them to Seaside or, or wherever you're at traveling around, and you can do beautiful little renderings. The best part of this is when it comes in with the, the sketchbook, is the markers don't bleed through the paper. So there you have it. Yeah guys, so make sure you go to Aaron Brothers, check out all the amazing uh, markers they have there, marker paper, you've seen some of the stuff that we've done with it. And I'm sure there's a world of things out there for you to do, so go in, Check out the what I consider the marker headquarters for uh, art supplies and markers, all types of great stuff. So check it out. Good luck and keep drawing. Have fun.